markers, they're much more useful than just for showing a location on a map. Actually, they can be used to visually convey information about a location. I'm Anka Cotwell and together, we're going to look at ways to visualize locations on a map. Let's say a user is searching for a well-rated restaurant. They'd fire up your app and see that there's a bunch of restaurants in their vicinity. But it's not always easy to tell which ones are worth visiting. To see the ratings for each place, they may end up having to tap each one first and see that rating. Marker selection and animations can be a great way to show this information. In this example, markers that like color rate poorly, and the vibrant, colorful markers are the highly rated ones. There's also animated steam on some of these markers, helping to highlight the best rated restaurants. To achieve this animation, we're changing the marker icon by calling set icon periodically. To desaturate the marker icons, we're also using a color matrix color filter from the Android framework. First, we set up the color filter based on the rating scale, and then we apply the filter to the marker image. Now, markers are great for showing points on a map, but sometimes you can just have too many. In this case, we have too many well-rated restaurants around us. It's a nice problem to have, but it's not helping our user choose a restaurant. And in such situations, you need to display many markers, but still keep the view comprehensible. So we're going to look at two ways to overcome these issues. The first is through the use of marker clustering. As the zoom levels of the map change, you can aggregate markers, making for a much more digestible view. Now, a zoomed out view shows us how many restaurants are in the surrounding areas. You might be looking at this effect and wondering that, well, it looks like a lot of work. Well, let me put you at ease. It's a four-step process. Step one, add the library to your Gradle config. Step two, add the get location override to your main data class. Step three, instantiate the cluster manager and register it for a couple of map listeners. And finally, step four, replace your marker management code with calls to the cluster manager. It will manage adding and removing the markers for you. Seriously, that's it, four steps. You can optionally customize it further by providing custom aggregate markers too. Let's look at the second method to show marker aggregation. I reckon it looks really cool. Heat maps. Here we're replacing a count of markers with a heat map to show the concentration of these markers. How cool does that look? Achieving this effect is also just four steps. One, add the library. Two, instantiate a heat map tile provider. Three, pass it your lat longs. And four, use it to create a map overlay. That's it. You can optionally customize this further by specifying the gradient and the radius of the heat map too. So just remember, information overload is a common problem with mobile apps. Location apps in particular suffer from poor user experiences when dealing with lots and lots of information. Markers, clustering, and heat maps offer beautiful visualizations, enabling you to build amazing maps. The Android Maps Utils Library provides easy-to-use implementations for marker clustering, heat maps, and even more. So be sure to check it out right here. I'm Anka Cotwell, and I look forward to seeing your amazing maps.